Well, the Senators drop a 7 0 decision here at the PPG Paints Arena and trail the series 3 2 as they head home to Ottawa. Ken, they put themselves in a really tough position against the defending Stanley Cup champions. Well, that was ugly. That was ugly with a capital U. There's no really anything they can take from this as a positive from the Senators. They've got to find a way to flush it down the toilet. I don't know how you can do that, but we've seen earlier in the playoffs teams that, that have rebounded from lopsided losses, and the Senators are going to have to do that. Eric Carlson, Derek Broussard, Cody Ceci don't finish the game. They're held out for precautionary reasons. They say they'll be back Tuesday. I'll believe it when I see it. Well, you know, it's a battle of attrition. You know, it's a war of attrition. Who's going to be left with the standing? You don't need The Penguins have survived the Baker blue line. The Senators are going to have to make some changes. We know I would expect Colin White will play. I would expect Mark Borbietsky going to play. Uh, where are they fit him in? Who's injured? I don't know. But they've got to make some changes. Well, the decision with, with Craig Anderson, the playing the musical goalies on his birthday, to me was a little strange. It backfired in a, a big way, and I'm, I'm not sure. If you're going to take a guy out to, to let him uh, find his game again, why not wait till the end and maybe bring him back to the start of the second period? I thought it was a bizarre move. It clearly backfired on Well, the Senators will have to stave off elimination and get try to get back here for Game 7 Thursday. They face the Penguins Tuesday night, and we'll see you there from Ottawa. For, for Post Media in Pittsburgh, I'm Bruce Garriott with Ken Warren.